Insomniac Games is familiar to millions of gamers as the critically acclaimed developer that gave us the Ratchet and Clank series and Resistance Fall of Man. But the superstar developer started small. Way back in 1994, um, I started the company and didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just had this idea that it would be great to make console video games. Insomniac's first title was a first-person shooter called Disruptor, which proved a rather tough sell. We put together a demo for our first game called Disruptor, and it was something that was technically very impressive. We couldn't afford an SGI computer because uh, they're $40,000, the software is $40,000. Uh, so we were building levels in Excel. <laughs> Ted would actually enter the coordinates for every polygon <laughs> in an Excel spreadsheet in, in the name of the texture that would go on it. Uh, and that's how, that was our level <laughs> editor back in the day. We took this demo and ran up and down the West Coast knocking on publishers' doors just finding out if anybody had any interest, and every single time we got the door slammed in our faces. I'm ready to go. After a presentation to Universal Interactive Studios, Ted and Brian's luck changed. And so I remember driving back from Los Angeles that night when we got home, I had a message on the phone and he said, let's do a, let's do a three game deal. And that was probably one of the most pivotal moments of my own life. School's over and now the real lessons begin. For their second title, Insomniac went for the fantastical in Spyro the Dragon. Spyro was the first one where we started introducing humor into our games. I guess he was all bark. <laughs> and uh, kind of having sort of that whimsical touch. And I think that that's something we've kept with us. Like, uh, I mean, not so much in Resistance, <laughs> but about every other game we've made. After three Spyro titles, Insomniac unleashed Ratchet and Clank upon an unsuspecting PlayStation 2, and the duo have defined action platforming for a generation. Insomniac itself has become larger, more successful, and is consistently named one of the 10 best small companies to work for in the United States. Through the years, a few key elements have remained constant through all the company's games. I think with Disruptor, we discovered a lot about what it, what an insomnia game is. And, and I think the key there was variety. And everybody who comes on board, especially those who have played our games, kind of realizes that's the expectation. The key is you have to hit that note every single every single level, every single minute, because if, really, if you ever fail, people have so many different things competing for their attention. Like all it takes is, is one bad level or one you know bad five minute experience and you know the game gets put down and you know, the player's gonna walk away from it. Now with two next-gen offerings in the bag, Insomniac continues to plan future PS3 projects. It's that energy that you get from finding the right idea and getting everybody to kind of come together that drives the creation of these games, and that's always the same for us. He seems to know his way around the block. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.